Hey, what's up guys? Well, welcome back to the channel. Today we have some more awesome news to talk about for everyone waiting for the forthcoming iOS 12 full-fledged jailbreak utility. Now, before we get into this video, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking news. And today we have a mouthful of astonishing achievements, guys. So let's just get directly into the news. All right, well, starting out on Twitter right here, Coolstar as well as Pwn to Own have both achieved read and write access on the root of the file system, meaning the iOS 12 to 12.1.2 remount is completed. Now, there are quite a few more steps required to get Cydia and everything fully working on the iOS 12 jailbreak, but now those post steps can take place. This remount is a huge thing we have been waiting for in the iOS 12 jailbreak scene, and now it is here. It has been released, and both of the two major prominent jailbreak developers for iOS 12 both have their jailbreak working with read and write access. All right, so where did all of this information come from? Well, Yuming explains this best. He says, because this will inevitably be an issue, here's the timeline for the remount. So starting off with this tweet, we're gonna have to break this down a little bit. He says, when iOS 12 was released, Apple patched the rename trick by enabling an extra check. And you may actually explained this really well on Reddit. He says this, back in iOS 11.3.1, when I first released the bypass for remounting the root file system, it revolved around renaming the snapshot Apple created and then proceeding with the actual remount. The idea of renaming the snapshot was what was previously missing and that's what he contributed. Well, jumping back to the present, Apple and iOS 12 made it impossible for the root file system to be renamed, or at least that's what they thought they did. That's what he says right there, that's great. He says, if you've read the previous paragraph, you'll know that this throws a spinner in the works as we're not able to proceed with the remount. That's what Laker and his teammate here have done with some help from Yumeng himself. They reverse engineered this new check that Apple implemented in iOS 12 and found a workaround for it. Now, present day, they're able to rename the snapshot and proceed with the remounting of the root file system. So that is exactly what the first part of this tweet is explaining. Apple patched the rename trick enabled an extra check. Well, in iOS 12.1, he realized that the remount was previously broken. Yuming privately got a fix for his own purposes. Now, moving on, he followed up this tweet with another one. He says, IB Sparks independently fixes the remount and demos it. Now, this came out quite a while ago, right when iOS 12.1.3 was released. Now, the remount is not for iOS 12.1.3. It's only for iOS 12 to 12.1.2. Now, just a few days ago on February 5th, Laker, who he was working with on this remount fix, uh, actually tweeted out something who also deleted his tweet about it. So that's what he means by nudge Laker in the right direction. They were basically just holding off letting the public know until it was completely done. Well, wrapping this timeline up with a third tweet, Yuming says, besides me, IB Sparks was the first to get an implementation going, followed by Laker and his teammate Mystic Missy then followed by Coolstar and Pwn to Own pretty much as of today. And he says the later are tied, meaning they pretty much did it at the exact same time. So this really isn't a race, guys. This is absolutely incredible news. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it's super awesome to see that both Coolstar as well as Pwn to Own have successfully got this remount fix working on their jailbreak utilities. Now they can work on the important things of getting Cydia actually running on their jailbreak utilities. Now this still is going to take some time. We really don't have an official ETA as to when this jailbreak is going to be coming out. Again, I will keep you guys fully updated when we know more. Again, a big thing that the jailbreak developers still have to work on is bypassing core trust and figuring out how to get these jailbreak utilities to run on A12 devices. But for everyone wondering, in the end, eventually, yes, this jailbreak utility will support A12 devices. It's just going to take some time but today's accomplishments was a major step in the right direction towards a full-fledged iOS jailbreak. No more of this rootless jailbreak without Cydia. Soon, Cydia will be coming to iOS 12, guys. 
Anyway, I just wanted to share this awesome update with everyone and explain the timeline and sequence of events that led up to this discovery and this achievement. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking news. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.